Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from CleverProgrammer.com and in this video I want to tackle, it's not really a question, but it's really a problem that I see pretty much everywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and tackle it and put in the Ask Kazi show. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. A lot of the times I work with you guys, and some of you guys I work with you one on one, um, but we are very slow a lot of the times with uh, how we even use our computer. So in this video, I want to go over, um, not really teach you too many technical things in this video. I'm going to try to keep it simple, and I'll try to give you something more tangible. I get that a lot. That you guys are like, Kazi, you, there are not, there aren't things we can just use right away. And these are the soft skills that actually m make you be able to charge a higher price. Whereas if I just show you hard technical skills every time, well, guess what? Everybody else can get them too. And that just makes you like a commodity. So um, these are very important. So before my mic dies, hopefully it won't die. I'll try to be faster. <clears throat> here's what I'm going to tell you. The number one way to learn anything, okay, here's the secret. The secret is speed, all right? I have number one secrets for everything, but seriously, this is like the number one powerful secret. Um, here's why. My rule for learning anything is this. It's, uh, I call it my 80-15-5 rule. So a lot of people have 80-20, mine is 80-15-5. And here's how it goes, play, build, learn. So 80% of the time should be spent playing with an idea, okay? Just play play with any new thing that you're learning. So if it's software development and coding, you're trying to learn Python, just play with it first. Learn the minimum amount to get you started and then play with it, okay? Make your own little ideas, make your own little apps or make your own little text adventure programs, multiple choices, multiple choice programs, whatever it is. Then build. So then work on a simple project that you can put together. Again, maybe it's a text adventure. Maybe it's a bunch of if else then statements, or maybe it's an actual app. Um, so build, and then last one, five percent of your time should be spent like learning new theory and knowledge and all that stuff. Okay, naturally, that time of learning you'll actually enjoy it more. All right, so m most of your time should be spent playing, then building, then learning. Now. What can help you go through the, the faster you can go through that cycle, the faster you will learn. But one of the things that stops you guys, there, there are many things uh, I see is like you guys are very uncomfortable with your computer. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of us are tech savvy, but things like even putting a window on half of the screen or like top left quadrant of the screen or just like being quick to open tabs, close tabs. Uh, those things I see lacking and when you lack that speed a lot of the times what happens is that not only are you slower but you don't learn things or you learn them slower here's an example let's say you find an online tutorial and you want to try it out you're like this is so awesome if you're fast you can quickly open a new tab open up sublime text open up your command line boom 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 write up the code in sublime text go to your command line run the script and you have tried out this new thing and now that concept is stored in your head on how you can make this app or how you can actually make this piece of code run whereas on the other hand when you're really slow you drink your coffee you put it down you look at this tutorial and you're like hmm this is a very good tutorial and you just passively breathe and read it and you take no action because it would take you like 30 minutes or 40 minutes to get even the most basic amount of things up and running so if you are slow that is okay the best way to start improving your speed okay is to not say that so I don't care if you're freaking slow if you see a tutorial or you see something you can try stop and go and try it do it play with it and then build your own things with it and then go back to the tutorial okay very important since there's so many other technical things that I do want you guys to improve I'm not gonna go too much into that because sometimes it's like I'll show you a Mac thing but then it's not Windows and some of you guys might use Ubuntu what I will show you is one of the things you can improve is your typing speed. So 
uh, please focus on improving your typing speed if it's like let's say if it's 30 words per minute or 40 words per minute try to get it a little bit higher and it'll help you go through that play bill learn cycle faster the faster you go through it the more apps you'll make the more like think of it like it'll literally double your revenue um, and a lot of the times people think oh well to think well and to make great things you don't have to be fast yes I, I totally get that with you but to think you need pattern recognition right and you need lots of trial and error so if you have speed you can go through that t trial and error really fast and build that pattern recognition that you need to think and make great apps or you know whatever like make cool uh, websites or whatever it is that you want to do when you start learning how to code so I'm gonna switch over to my computer screen and um, I'm gonna play a typing game and you guys can actually try this out okay so if you're competitive I'll show you the competitive game first and it's fun as hell I found it recently and it's really cool um, and another one I'll show you is that this typing website and just you can go here and type um, you know once or twice a week for 20 minutes and it'll really help you improve your speed which will help you with that play build learn cycle which will help you get more clients and earn more revenue okay so they are related it's not typing speed doesn't just oh like all oh, the cool 20 year old kids are doing it I'm not gonna do it I'm like 40 years old and that ship has sailed the more you say it, the more you limit yourself okay if you're here to learn I want you to open your mind open your eyes follow along and try out new things so I'm gonna do it for you and I don't care if you're 70 years old or 95 years old I want you to try this out with me so okay so uh, now you guys are gonna watch kind of over my shoulder and um, I'm gonna play this first game and it's gonna be like a competitive typing game I found it and I absolutely love it and it gets started like instantly so um, and I'm gonna show you other shortcuts along the way so command L to highlight the link of the URL bar um, so you don't actually have to go click it these things add up a lot of time so and I'm gonna type in nitro type.com slash race um, this game is so fun so it just gets started right away it tries to find I'm gonna put the volume on and basically it's trying to find five four other players and it's like a five-player racing game and how it works is they give you text to write and if you write that text that's how fast your car goes okay so whoever reaches the finish line first wins uh, and therefore they'll be the fastest typer so it's getting started all right maybe I'll suck we'll see Okay, so that was really hard with the camera and trying to commentate. Sorry, I couldn't commentate at all. Um, usually, these people are not that fast. Um, I just got put in the group that was like really crazy. So you can see that almost everybody was hitting around 100 word per minute um, a typing speed. Mine was right now at 97. It fluctuates between... 88 and 100 depending on how easy or difficult the words are now I'm not the fastest typer, but statistically I'm better than probably 95% or 90% of people on average um, So, you know a lot of people I know might fall at 40 or 50 and once you improve a little bit of your typing speed you get f Here's the main problem that bothers me. Okay, here. Here's what it is when you're not good at executing it limits your ability to think because you're so focused on oh what terminal should I open and what command should I type uh, what IDE should I open how is it configured with everything that's going on or the typing speed or the speed that you need to implement to follow the tutorial you're so concerned about all these technicalities that you can't think at a higher level you're not free to think at a higher level and when you're faster and you know when these things are more natural to you you can think outside the box of you know when, I, when I'm coding 
it's not that I'm able to code really fast and that helps me. Like the more lines of code you can type, it's that I'm not worrying about the little minutia because I'm so comfortable with my computer. My energy is not being spent. Oh, how do I make the window half or how do I quickly open up a new tab or how do I do this research? How do I switch between my virtual desktops? Because my mind is more focused on the higher level things of how do I make this app better for my client? Um, what can I add to this website? If I'm analyzing some data, you know, what are the key characteristics or variables that I need to keep in mind when I'm working on something, you know, in Python or any language. So, you know, speed is one of the most key things to help you improve your learning. Um, and not only your learning, you know, I want you to focus on the big picture here. I'm, I'm a guy, I'm big on results. So you can't take learning to the bank. But if you improve your speed, you can take more money to the bank, it'll directly add to your bottom line. So tangible skill practice typing, start from there. And then always keep your eye open to new shortcuts and new things that you can add to um, in improve your overall comfort level and speed. So then you can focus focus more on the higher level thinking that's required to make these apps. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you have any questions and we'll answer them for you in the Ask Kazi segment. And as always, I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video.